I'm stuck, say. So now. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. We're at Just Space Academy. This is a grade 4, grade 5, and grade 7 class. Uh, Just Six. Space Academy is a school that is located at uh, uh, Somerset West. Thank you. So today we are with grade 7. We are doing multiply, multiply common fraction and simplify to show how to multiply common fraction and the way to simplify. So here we have one half times one quarter. In this year, we're gonna use the first method and the second method. I'm gonna write here the first method, our first method and our second method. As here, we have different denominator. The denominator are not common. So when the denominator are common, for example, 1 over 2 times 3 over 2. When they have the same denominator, we do what? We keep the denominator as the denominator are 2. We keep the denominator, then we just multiply the numerator. This one times this one, and here is 1 times 3 equal to 3. And now, when the denominator are different now, what we do is to make the denominator common. For example, as here we have 2 and 4. So, we keep our highest common, our highest denominator is 4. So, we will make this one to be 4. To make this one to be 4, we must times by something. We must times by 2. As 2 times 2 equal to 4. If we times the denominator by 2, that means we must times also our numerator by 2 as well. So we have 1 times 2 equal to 2. 2 times 2 equal to 4. Times 1 over 4. Now we have the common denominator that, uh, that is 1, uh, 4, and 4. So we do what? We keep our denominator. Then we do the numerator now. 2 times 1 equal to what? 2. But listen, they say multiply common fraction and do what? Simplify. Simplify means make it small by using division. So as we have 2 divided by 4, this one is a multiple of 2, and 4 as well is a multiple of 2. So 2. Divide by four, 2 over 4 is like we're dividing by what? By 2. So we divide this one here by 2, this one here by 2 as well. 2 divided by 2 equal to what? 1. 4 divided by 2 equal to what? Is 2. So our answer here, the answer equal to 1 half. That is our first method. Now our second method, that is the direct method that you can use to uh, multiply and simplify directly at the same time. So when we have one half times one quarter, as the denominator are not common, we do what? As this sign here is in the middle, is a multiplication sign. So we use straight and straight. One times one equal to one. Two times two times uh, two times four equal to what? Eight. Eight. Equal to what? Eight. Equal, yeah, equal to eight. If we do like this, we do it straight as well. You understand? So now we are, if it's an it's a addition, an addition or multiplication or uh, subtraction, two plus one. So now we are, the first rule is telling us to make this one a common denominator first. To make this one the common denominator first, so we start, we make this one to make a common de denominator as we have 4 here and 2. We do what? We must times this one. We times here by 2. If we times the denominator by 2, we must times our numerator as well by 2. Then 1 times 2 equal to 2. 2 times 2 equal to what? 4. Plus, we keep this one, 4. So now we have the common, uh, common de denominator, that is 1, and uh, 4, and 4. So we keep our denominator, then we add these two. 2 plus 1 equal to what? 
equal to 3. This is our first method. Or rather, the second method that we can do here is what? 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. We do what? Cross multiplication. 1 times 4. 1 times 4 plus 1 times 2. Over 2 times 2 times 4. So now 1 times 4, 4 plus 1 times 2, 2 over 2 times 4, 8. So 4 plus 2 is 6 over 8. So now here we have to simplify. As we can see, 6 is a matter of 2 and this one also 2. So we can divide by 2 here. We divide by 2. Divide by 2, we got what? 3. Divide by 2, we got what? 4. So it's the same thing. If it was minus as well here, if it was minus, we do the same thing, only the sign that will change. So here, we got what? 2 minus, we keep the same denominator. 2 minus 1 equal to what? 1. So here, if it was minus here, we do the same thing, only the sign. In the middle, that will change minus, and we end up with four minus two. That is what four minus two. That is two over eight. And here we divide by two. We divide by two. One over four is the same thing. The same answer. Thank you so much.